it's me, Psya. Um. <clears throat> so I just went skydiving and I didn't have a parachute and I fell to the ground and I hurt my head. It hurts a lot. Like, a lot. Uh, it hurts so much. It's worse than being bitten or scratched by a wild animal. Uh, I'm not even gonna ask how I'm still alive. Because you know what? I think I have nine lives like a cat. But if I do, then this is the first time I died and I still have eight lives left. Wait. I forgot. What, were I, what was I doing in this video? I forgot everything. Who am I? Who are you guys? What am I doing in this video? Oh, right. Okay, well, let's just do what I'm gonna do. Hold on, I need an ice pack first. Um, forgive me. I'll be back. This won't take long. I promise. Ice pack to peel my head. That probably won't do much, but let's you know what let's just let's just start this video. I can't drive a car by the way. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna crash into that wall. Help! 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 Ugh. Okay, um enough. Let's just start this video. Well, I mean the video already started like a few minutes ago, but you know what I mean. Um let's just get right into it. Now, I've never done this before, I've never read a fanfic story before, so this will be my first time. Hopefully this will be interesting. Let's do this. Oh. Okay, here we go. I can stop falling off the bed. Um, okay, here we go. In the late hours of night, all of the as all of the Asgard were um were enjoying the peacefulness by sleeping, all except just one. A small black haired price was, was tossing and turning in his sleep. His mind his mind um I'm sorry, I can't pronounce this word right here. This um what does that say? I'm plagued? Plogged? I I don't know how to pronounce, it. I'm sorry. His mind um um okay, you know what I'm just gonna skip, I can't pronounce it. By horrid visions causing him to scrunch up his face like there was a like there was a foul smell about. He let out a small whimper as he kicked nothing but thin air. No, please. I won't. Don't make me look, please. Loki whimpered along with many other things. I'm sorry, what does I won't mean? You mean I won't? What is he dreaming about, you ask? Yeah, I wonder, what is he dreaming about? Maybe you should ask him. Could it be of his future and past? Maybe his fall? Or maybe he is simply afraid to look at the monster under his bed? Whatever it is, it can't be pleasant. Bro, it's a nightmare! Nightmares aren't even pleasant at all to begin with! I'm just gonna lie down. My head is still hurting, like, a lot. And it probably might hurt, like, a lot more in the future. So I'm just gonna lay down. Alright, let's keep reading. I'm gonna read while I lay down. Don't like anyways a small six years old boy suddenly wakes up with a small scream a blast of magic shoots shoots from his hand lightening the whole room for a moment his voice echoing around the green shaded room loki lets out a small whimper as he slowly slides out of bed holding his pillow tightly to his chest he takes a deep breath before stepping stepping forward nervously looking behind him as though he expects to see someone he does not wish to see or something. Loki suddenly backs up, not moving his eyes from the dark silhouette of the thing, which is really just himself, but he is too scared to realize this. Suddenly, a loud, a loud smash echoes the walks as Loki's back comes in contact with a table stand, knocking a vase to the, to the ground. Water, water splatted everywhere. Loki lets out a small scream before jerking into a run, only to have him thrown off his feet from the water and onto his face. He whimpers before getting back up, curving his curving his back and his and his um and his though and his though he expects something cold and evil to touch it. 
He more or less runs towards his door, pillow still in hand, turning the knob faster. Then you can then you can say I am burnt, burnt. I think that says um burnt, with glorious purpose. I'm bored. I'm bored. I want to play. He doesn't turn around to close the door. No, he is much too scared for that. Instead. He does what any little boy would do in this situation. He goes to his brother. If you can see, I doubt you can. You would be able to see a flash of dark hair and green clothes tear across the hall and go two doors down from where he started. Loki slowly comes to a halt and reaches for the door knob of his brother's bedroom. He slowly turns the knob before pushing the door open and stepping inside. Thor? Loki calls silently, much too soft for his older brother to hear. Loki gulps before walking over to his brother's bed. Thor, Loki asks again, this time shaking his brother's shoulder lowly. A pair of tired blue eyes meets a frightened green pair. Brother, what is it? Asks Thor softly, trying to adjust his eyes to the dark properly. I'm scared, Loki answers with a whimper. Was it the monster under the bed again? Thor asked, already knowing the answer. A whimper is his reply. Do you want to talk about it? Asked Thor softly for once. N no, Loki replies. Do you want me to help you scare the monsters away? Thor asked again. A nod meets the a nod meets the blonde go the blonde god's eyes. All right then, let's go. Says Thor calmly, before leading his brother to the door. As they walk the hallways, a gust of wind sounds through the halls. Loki suddenly takes a hold of his brother's shirt. I do not want to go back in there, Loki whimpers, looking deep into Thor's eyes. What do you want me to do then? asked Thor, quite surprised by his brother's request as going back in never bothered him before. Or did it? Do you want to sleep in my room? asked Thor softly. Loki replies, with a nod before looking looking up and down the hallway, still clinging to his brother's shirt. Aww. Once they reached Thor's room, Loki was shivering most violently from the cold or the fear. Thor, Thor did not know. Thor lifted up the cover and laid himself under it before feeling a sudden weight on the opposite side of the bed. Thor rolled over so he could see his brother's shaking form. He reached out a hand and touched his brother's skin. Fear not cold, Thor decided as he looked as he looked at Loki's curled up form. Thor silently shuffled over and wrapped an arm around his his brother so he could pull him closer. A sniffle sounded from Loki as he pressed his face to Thor's chest. His arms wrapped around his brother. Thor played his chin atop Loki's head, like he had seen their mother do so many times and began to stroke the dark locks with his free arm. A softer sniffle sounded from Thor's chest. Hey Loki. Hey Thor. And that's how the story ends. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe and I'll see you all next time. And also, um, I hope my music gets better. And I know this is going to be a random thing to say because I'm sure you guys already know, but I don't really have amnesia in real life. Obviously, I don't. That was just for fun. But yeah, anyways, I don't really need to say I hope I don't have amnesia anymore because it's not like that's happening in real life. I don't want you guys to think that that's not happening in real life. So that's going to be it for this video. Goodbye. I'll see you all next time. <sighs> Wait, no, not again! Ah! <sighs> hey, look, I survived. So I do have nine lives like a cat.